Hello guys, um, welcome to Bone Lab. Uh, it has finally released and, um, I've already completed the game a couple times, but so that I can show you guys the story and stuff, I'm going to, um, uh, do it again, but record it and put it on YouTube, so. This is part one, part two is going to come out probably the next day, or the day after. It depends how busy I am, because uh, of school now. That's probably the main reason why I haven't been uploading as much, is uh, school, uh, soccer, like sports and stuff, and then, um, yeah. So this is, um, the biggest game, in my opinion, that's ever come to Quest. Uh, I'm just gonna mess around in the sandbox a little bit first, but, um, I like to show you guys the physics and stuff. Uh, you, it's supposed to match up with your body, so you touch it, like, wherever it's, your character's touching your body is where you're gonna feel, pretty much. But, um, I must be too skinny, because my hands go right through, so... Um, I'm gonna hop into another map. This was just to show you, you know, me. This character isn't the one that I usually use. It's just a starter character, and I thought if I'm gonna be starting the story, um, this is the first character you start as, then I might as well just start as this guy anyway, so. Okay, so, this is Bone Lab. I mean, uh, this isn't the story, but this is just kind of a sandboxy uh, thing. I'm just gonna show you some of the physics, like how everything operates, so that you get the main idea on how everything works. This is the uh, spawn gun. Uh, look at that laser, bro. It looks so real. It looks like actually real, and it actually like goes in between the fingers and stuff. Oh, uh, well, that's a problem. But and this is the um. I don't even know what this is called. Oops. And then that tethers that. It's like a tether gun. I don't know if you've heard of it. But it tethers it basically. So like if I try to grab it. Eh, then I can't move it because it's tethered to that position. So yeah. Um Okay, this is a nobody. Not a nobody. Null. N U L L body. Um, he's like a weird orange creature thingy, and, and like he's kind of like a zombie. And if you uh, if he sees you or if you go up to him, he uh, tries to hit you uh, for no reason. I'm not gonna use a gun yet, but I will eventually. Oh, just a blunt. A blunt. Yeah, that, that'll work. Uh, baseball bat. Just go up to him. Say hi, you know? Hey, hey, buddy. How's it going? Buddy? Hey. Oh, see? <laughs> hi. Ah, see, see? Yep, now he's gonna try to attack me. And then we just got a box. Here, so, like... I smack him. You can use slow motion. Get off of me. Oof. That was a big fall, my guy. Hey, let me get. Okay, and if you clench your knuckles in and you hit them, then it actually does like the damage. See? I get a mark on his face. <laughs> Come here. And now he's dead. Uh, this is another null. But he's got... He's got some drip, alright? He's, he's, uh, got some fancy clothes on. And now he can't move. 
Nope, stop. Yeah. Ugh. Back up. Stop. I will use this if I have to. See, now he's hit. He does have some drip, a little bit. Not really. So trusted you. I thought I could too. But, you know, that's a him problem. Uh, I, on the other hand, have some drip. I'm rocking the, uh, I don't know, because I can't see. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna spawn another one in. Basically, there's a new mechanic. In Boneworks, you didn't have this, but Bone Lab, you do. Basically, there's an avatar switching mechanic. You can switch different avatars. That's the strong avatar, that's the fast avatar, that's the heavy avatar, that's also kind of a strong avatar, stronger than the strong avatar. That's Ford, that's Jim, and that's the tall one. I'm just gonna stay as this guy right now because he's the campaign guy and then we'll just get to the special guys when we get to the special guys. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the guns and then we'll head into the story. We'll just start with a, a pistol, you know, nothing too fancy without, you don't need to like blow them out of the water. Spawn some ammo. There we go. Look at this. Oh yeah, here's the uh, pull effects, by the way. Just pulls right to your hand. Alright. So, um, just grab a thing from your pouch, or a magazine from your pouch, and then just put it in. Grab either that part, that part, or that part. You, you can grab it however you want, really. Or you can go, oh, oops, like this. Pull it over. And then you can pull off some pretty cool trick shots. You can attract him by shooting up into the air. He ends up hearing you. Stop. 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 And then uh, you shoot him and stuff. And yeah, there are also forwards and stuff, but they're a little bit more graphic. So, yeah. Minute thirty seven seconds later. Oh, buddy.